Okay, in this example, we're given the y velocity component of a steady two dimensional incompressible flow. So that's given here. We're asked to find the most general velocity component in the x direction for this flow. So we're given the y component, we're trying to find the x component. Both of those appear in the continuity equation, and of course, we have to satisfy conservation of mass or the continuity equation. Um, so let's try to make use of that. So the continuity equation for two-dimensional incompressible flow will look like this, dux dx plus dy dy is equal to zero. We're given the y component of the velocity, so we can take the derivative of that to find dy dy. So this will be d dy of the three xy minus x squared times y, which will give us a three x minus x squared. And then we can plug that back in into continuity. So then we'll get dux dx, and I'll just take this to the other side, is equal to x squared minus 3x. We can then integrate both sides with respect to x. We'll get ux is equal to 1 third x cubed minus 3 halves x squared, and then we'll get this function of y. Okay, so let me just explain here for a moment what how we have this function of y. I think everybody's probably comfortable with the idea of integrating this with respect to x here to get these terms, but this term might cause you a little confusion. And the reason we have this is because this is a partial derivative with respect to x, meaning that u sub x could be a function of x and y, just in general, right? It's not solely a function of x. If it was solely a function of x, this would be an ordinary derivative, d over dx. But it's possible that our x component of the velocity could also be a function of y, so that's why I add that in here. And that function of y could also include a constant. I think everybody's familiar with when you integrate, you know, to get this kind of expression, there's a constant that usually shows up. And the reason the constant's there is because when you take the derivative of the constant, it goes to zero. It's the same idea here with this function of y. When I work backwards, if I do dux dx of this expression, I'll get x squared minus 3x, and then I'll have this d dx of function of y, which of course is just zero. So we get back the original term that we started with. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So this is our most general expression for the x velocity uh, for this two-dimensional incompressible flow field. And we found it through the continuity equation. If we were to go further in this problem, we'd need, in order to find out what that function of y is, we'd have to be given some additional information. We'd have to know something perhaps about boundary conditions or something like that. In other words, we just need more information if we were going to write, figure out what uh, the function of y is. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the example there.